Hey everybody, this is going to be a playthrough of the user mission Storm 1 for the SE25T. This is a free user made mission put up by somebody in the community, so I'll put a download link for that in the video description. Looking at the mission briefing, we got a morning mission kind of in the spring. Uh, it's going to be pretty low light in the beginning, early morning sunrise kind of conditions. There's really no clouds to worry about, just a high sparse cloud layer, so they're not really a problem. But the uh, shadows cast by the rising sun could be a bit of an issue. Uh, the longer the mission goes on, the higher the sun gets and, and the less the lighting becomes an issue. Uh, looking at the loadouts, we got some unguided rockets, we got some Vickers, some TV guided KH-29 missiles, and some air-to-air -air missiles that we probably won't need. Looking at the allies, there's nothing listed here, but you do have a wingman and there are a bunch of other flights doing other things. Uh, there's like a seed flight, uh, some other strike flights, there's a cap flight, so uh, a bunch of helicopters. So there's a lot of other stuff you might see and hear about, uh, but nothing listed here. Looking at the objective, essentially we're going to be tasked uh, two ship of SU-25Ts tasked with destroying an artillery battery and a train. Uh, when we attack the train, generally in DCS, the way to kill the train is to destroy the engine, so the the lead car. Um, you can destroy like all the freight cars if you want to, but that's not going to that's not going to set the trigger or uh, activate the trigger that you need uh, to register that train destroyed. So really, you just want to target the the engine. Uh, so once you figure out which way the, the train's going, then just target that engine with everything you got. Uh, and once it's destroyed, you'll get a message telling you you can move on. Uh, for the artillery battery, it's going to be south of uh, Batumi, across the river, and up in some hills. There's going to be some pictures here to show you where that's at. Uh, you're going to see a lot of messaging related to the other flights, as well as uh, potential F-14s flying off a U.S. carrier. Uh, so if the F-14s come in, you're probably going to want to fly away uh, and let the, let the cap flight deal with that you'll get some messaging that indicates whether that 14s got destroyed or whether the friendlies got destroyed and the and the air is not safe. Looking at the threats, again, nothing, nothing listed here, but there's a wide range of stuff. There's uh, IR guided SAMs, there's AAA, uh, there's radar guided SAMs, and there's the enemy fighters. And if you get close enough to anything like a tank or APCs and stuff like that, they could take pot shots at you too, but really all those missiles are the biggest threat as well as the enemy fighters. Uh, we're gonna be taken off out of Sukumi. But at the end of it, uh, we have instructions to land back at Kobaletti. Uh, when I flew this, the uh, return point and the landing airfield that was set on the route was not Kobaletti, so I had to change that manually. So just be aware of that. Uh, it probably doesn't make a big difference if you fly all the way back to Sukumi, but that's a that's a longer flight. Uh, so starting to look at these pictures, got an overview of the route. So coming south from Sukumi towards Batumi down here, uh, doing whatever we need to do, and then landing at Kobaletti here. Next one. Just seeing what some of the other stuff's doing. We got some checkpoints that are going to be addressed. Uh, some airdrop that's happening with some paratroopers. Uh, some friendly uh, ground units coming in. So we're going to be looking for a uh, train station over here, a train, a freight train, uh, kind of to the eastern edge of Batumi uh, and a little bit northeast of the airfield. So want to be aware of that. And then further east and south of the airfield, apparently there's some stuff over here we might want to be careful of too. So anywhere there's enemy units, there's likely to be man pads and stuff like that. So you want to want to be aware of uh, definitely stuff around the airfield and then apparently also southeast of it as well. So this is just some of the other targets that the friendlies are dealing with, but we do have the uh, the artillery battery pointed out here. So it's south. Uh, the airfield, Batumi will be up here where the mouse is. So south of that, we got the river. Crossing the river, we got some hills, and then there's a little path through the hills. Uh, so we'll be looking in this area for the artillery here. I'll point that out on the mission planner as well. Just some fun pictures of the checkpoints. Apparently there's a SA-11, so a book radar in there. Uh, it's SA-11 SAM site. Picture of the train. And then the artillery battery as well. So you can see it's kind of up in the hills uh, overlooking Batumi. So switching to the mission planner. Really almost nothing to see here. We just got our route called out, so... Our route's going to take us just northwest of Batumi, uh, and then we'll just need to figure things out from there. So um, the trail or the uh, train station, if we look at the uh, the rail routes, see we got rail coming up here. So it kind of ends right over in here somewhere. So the rail ends right here. Zoom it out, you can see where that's at, and then comes down through here. It kind of ends again right here. And there's a western branch of this here too if i could find it um oh yeah so we got stuff up here as well so it ends right here and then this i think goes for quite a ways up north out of batumi uh, but the picture showed kind of more over in here so just you find this little clearing here 
and the rail ends right here. So it certainly can't be south of that. So you can probably find this little clearing. Uh, so kind of northeast of the airfield uh, is pretty densely populated around that. It's almost like a little baseball diamond shaped clearing. Find that and then maybe track the rail north of that until you see the train. Uh, once you see the train, like I said, just destroy the, the lead car, the freight engine, or the, uh, not the freight engine, the, uh, the engine. Um, and once you've done that, you'll get the message telling you that the train's destroyed. After you've done that, uh, you're going to want to loop around probably to the east because there was nothing warned about over here, but plenty of threats kind of in this area. So loop around to the east, and then this is the little corridor through the hills and the trees that we're looking for. So that circle for the artillery body was in this in this area somewhere. So kind of come out over here, find that, and then you know get far enough away from all the stuff up here that you feel comfortable attacking it. Uh, once you've destroyed enough stuff in the artillery group, you'll get a message telling you you're done with that too. So once you've met both of those objectives, just fly back up to Kobaletti. Like I said, you probably have to change the, uh, the landing airfield manually. I think it's uh, number 13 you'll want to change it to. Uh, and that'll take you back to Kobolady. Once you land, you'll get a message telling you, welcome back. That'll do it. Good luck. All right, start the mission. Close the canopy. Get the electrical on. Lights on. Engines on. Flaps down. Turn the RWR down. Nears. Request startup. Engines are ready, request taxi. Alright, this message is telling us to focus on the artillery battery and the train, but we knew that from the briefing already. Got an A-50 taken off. Got some other stuff taxing over here. More frogfoots. All right, clear for runway 30. That's uh, right to left from this perspective, but it's behind us. So I'll just taxi out to the right and follow these other jets.
ППМ-1 на 2000. All right, we got runway three zero here. Go ahead and take off behind this guy. Yeah, we got a long boring flight ahead, so I'll put timestamps in the video description if you want to skip past the boring stuff. 
I'm going to turn on the nav system. Set to waypoint one. That's behind us. If you're going a little faster, you get turned around.
Alright, I'm getting blocked by Sam, but we're pretty far away from the target area still, so I'm not too worried about that yet. Going straight level autopilot for now. Uh, we're getting close to 30 kilometers from waypoint 3, so I'll go ahead and anchor the wingman here. Uh, because of the low lighting conditions, I'm a little concerned I won't be able to get locks uh, with the Shkval, and if so, I won't really be able to use the wingman effectively, so there's really no point having him follow me around getting shot out unnecessarily. So I'll hold him there and see if I can uh, use him effectively later. And I'll start looking around with the camera. 
We got Batumi out here, so the harbor on the left, we get the river to the south of Batumi. Just gotta bring the uh, camera low enough to get ground stabilized. There we go. So I know that that rail yard where we suspect the train to be is gonna be south of the harbor somewhere in a little clearing. We'll just kinda pan to the south. Look for clearings that might have trains in them. There we go. I see some shimmering there. Looks like it's probably a train. We're going to be targeting the engine of the train, so the lead car, but I can't tell. It looks like it's heading to the right, so we'll, we'll target something off to the right. I'll get pointed out a little better. Oops. To find that again. I'm going to start dropping a little lower because I'm worried about that sand that's been locking me for a while. I think, yeah, it was up here. Let's see, without a lock, we're not really going to be able to use the TV guided missiles, so we'll have to use the Vickers. It's not the best weapon for something like this, but we'll have to make it work. The train seems like it's kind of glitching. It looks like it's heading off to the right, and then it snaps back, so it might actually be stationary. Looks like the lead car is going to be over here somewhere. I'll swing to the right a little bit more to get around that tree. All right, not sure if we're gonna be able to get this thing to stop glitching, but I'll just drop a missile in kind of right there. Might hit the lead car, might not hit anything. We'll see in a second. Maybe even send it through the tree a little bit. All right, we're close. It looks like it made the train stop at least. Send another missile in there. Actually move it over here, see what we can hit. All right, we hit a passenger car. That's not what we were looking for. So I'm keeping the throttle down and pumping out lots of flares just in case we're close to any man pads or strellas or anything like that. Oh, there was something. Alright, so I think the train was in that big clearing right there, kind of around that little protrusion of trees. Try not to climb too high because I'm still worried about whatever that radar SAM is. Thank you. 
All right, so we got kind of a clear shot up towards the engine, although the car in the back of it might be in the way. And I'll play around and see if I can get a lock on that. Be nice to hit it with a TV guided missile. Looks like I cannot. All right, that's a miss. Might have just hit that car that was already dead behind the engine. I have to swing around to the west a little bit more to get a clearer shot on that engine. There's our clearing, so we don't need to climb a whole lot more. We got trees in the way, but I'll try to sneak one in through here anyway. That didn't work. I've come even more more west. Or higher, but higher is risky. Get a bogey dope, just keep an eye on any uh, fighter threat. Nothing yet. To get a little higher because I think I'm gonna have to to get around those trees. But I'll be ready to dive uh, if I get launched on by a radar Sam. All right, we got a clear shot now. Really want to get a lock, but I don't think it's going to happen. Sneak some Vickers in there in a second.
All right, we got enough damage to the train. So get some distance. Right, so based on the photos, the uh, artillery looked like it was south of the river, back in those hills somewhere, overseeing the, uh, or overlooking the runway. So I'm going to look back in this area over here somewhere. I'm going to loop around, get up over the mountains. Uh, that way we can use the mountains to dodge uh, radar missiles if we get launched on. And there's probably not going to be uh, anything hiding in the hills out here. Get another bogey dope, see if there's any fighters coming. Still nothing. I'm gonna call the wingman to me. I'll just kind of orbit over here for, for a little bit to get him close. Tell him to come to a finger four so I can see him better when he gets here. Looks like we've used up enough fuel that I can drop these fuel tanks. They should be empty. Yeah, didn't lose anything doing that. Alright, I'm seeing bandit calls, so I'll get a, uh, oh, there's a, uh, there's a bogey dip for us, so still 110 kilometers away, I'm not going to worry about that yet. But I'm not sure that I'm going to go further south until that's dealt with. I'm starting to see radar hits from off in that direction. From fighters. All right, there's the wingman. I think I'll, uh, I'll start heading to the south, see if I can get around behind these mountains. But if uh, if the boogie dopes show that those enemy fighters are getting closer, then I'll I'll come back up to the north. 
get locked by the Sam again, but we'll be able to duck behind these mountains if we get launched on. Got another buggy dope. Right, 120 kilometers away. We're headed this way. Alright, Sam's are launching at something over here. Something got hit. Boogie dope. Alright, it's only 60 away now. I'm gonna get turned back around and head north. I'm use these mountains for cover. Check it, boogie dope again. Alright, 45, it's getting closer quickly. We get over this mountain. I'll duck, uh, duck low and see if we can get low enough to get off the fighter's radar. Alright, 30 kilometers away. They're F-14s, they got Phoenixes, well within range of a launch from those. But those guys are pretty low. Alright, fighter radar now is coming from our front, so that's probably friendlies. Man got hit. Not sure by what. I'm just gonna keep flowing north, get away from whatever air to air combat's going on up there. Still got some fighters, probably friendlies up in that direction, so I'll keep heading towards them. something flying around over there.
Alright. Only been it's 110 kilometers now, so I'll start heading back towards Batumi. Alright, we're going to see some, potentially see some K-50s flying around destroying stuff. Alright, Bandit's at uh, 90 kilometers, pretty high. Lots of stuff smoking out there now. All right, uh, bogey dump was clean, even though somebody's engaging Bennett somewhere. Oh, he just splashed him. Second SA-11 got destroyed. Check that bogey dope again. Something's, something's going down out there. Alright, messaging is telling us the F-14s are destroyed, so the shouldn't be any fighter threat now. So we still just need to find that artillery. Still got some sort of SAM up there. Something got hit. Looks like a fighter, because that's moving too fast to be a K-50. Alright, so we'll be looking at these hills over here for artillery. I'm not seeing anything yet, but we're still pretty far away. I'm starting to see some little gray dots over there by the power lines. Looks like there's a few too many of them for there to be more power poles. So I'll check that out. I'm going to come a little bit more south just to get away from any man pads or anything up in here. Yeah, I think those are ground units there. So we'll see if that's artillery.
All right, should be far enough south to or uh, yeah, south to have gotten around any man pad threat. was somewhere over here. I saw those dots. Yeah, got a bunch of stuff here. That looks like artillery right there. I see some infantry. Just looking around in the area for other stuff. I don't see anything else in these hills. All right, we'll see if we get a lock up here. If not, just keep using Vickers. We're already in range for that. So I'll go ahead and launch permission override. We'll send one in. Keep working on the, trying to get a lock here. I'll send another one over here. Uh, try to kill some of those infantry just in case there's a man pad in there somewhere. As I dive away, I'll be pumping out flares. I didn't see if any of that was artillery. I did see a Shulka get destroyed. I'll keep working on the other stuff in that area. Hopefully we'll get a lock so we can get rid of these TV guided missiles. Get rid of all that weight. I'll hit some of these units here. See if I get a late lock and send those TV guided missiles in. Looks like we did enough damage to that. Killed a man pad. I think at this point, rather than risk uh, getting shot down trying to kill anything else, I'll just loop back around the way I came in. Seems pretty safe over the mountains. Then we'll uh, go land it. I think it was Kobaletti we're supposed to land at. Turn up the HUD brightness a little bit. Get that glare shield out. Now we'll switch to return mode. See where it takes us.
And I think we were supposed to land at Kobleti, but this is taking us back to Sukumi. So I'll switch, uh, looking it up on my phone. Kobleti is 13. All right, so now we're pointed at Kobleti. And we'll head up that way, go land there. It's a shorter flight. We'll be up high enough now that uh, man pads aren't a threat. I don't know if there's still a radar stamp down in there somewhere, but it looks like that airfield got pretty well wrecked. All right, I'll start descending. I think we're well into the safe area now.
All right, there's Cobaletti. Fuel, 1500.
That'll do it. 